the minute I hit record, okay, so everybody is a child read Roll Dahl books, right? Uh, the Witches, the BFG, Danny the Champion of the World, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And if you didn't read them, you at very least have seen at least one of the okay-ish movie adaptations, like Matilda or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I read all of them as a child, and they, I still, they're the only books from before I was like 10 years old that I keep on my bookshelf, because they just mean so much to me. What I've decided to do today is create a bit of a tier list of all of them. Uh, so I've got 16 of his books. These are the ones that I have. The template's loading up. Okay, so here we are in Tear Maker. Let's start off with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, everybody, everybody knows this one. This is arguably his most favorite, his most famous book. And would I say overrated? Uh, maybe a little bit, but you can see the appeal. I mean. It's a book for children about a, a chocolate factory. So I'm just going to go and put it in A tier for now. Uh, let's go for Billy and the Min Pins. Now, this book, it was okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in C tier. Now, just a, a, a reminder, this is my own opinion. Uh, this is not fact, but you can have your own opinion. James and the Giant Peach. Now, looking back, this one was probably one of the weirdest. It features massive fruit and insects, but I have to say, I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to say better than Wonka. We'll just put it there for now. I'm sure everything will get shifted around later. Now, the Magic Finger. I do not I do not remember liking this one. It was pretty average. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in D tier for now. The another another not so well known one. Easy O Trot. Spelled back it's tortoise. I can remember first time reading reading that and figuring it out. I'm gonna say better than Billy and the Minpins, because I remember more about it. Um mm, I'll just put it there for now. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Now, Fantastic Mr. Fox is one of the Roald Dahl books where I think that the movie is better than the book. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put the book in B tier. Then we have Boy Tales of Childhood. I really, really enjoyed this one and I keep coming back to it. This is the most... this one and Going Solo are the two most recent ones that I've read. So I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna put Boy in there. And going solo, I'm putting that in S tier. That is one of my favorites. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move that uh, up there. Okay, now, George's Marvelous Medicine is another one where I think the adaptation is better than the book. I saw a production of it, a stage production. And it was so good, it was so much funnier than the book. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the book, along with Fantastic Mr. Fox, in B tier. And move on to Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. This one brings back so many memories for me. I think this is the one that I remember the most. It's Charlie in the Chocolate Factory's lost, I wouldn't say lost, but forgotten uh, sequel. It takes place directly, it's continuous after the first one, I believe. And yeah, I just loved it. I love the whole space thing. I think uh, Roald Dahl does a very good job with his aliens. It was very descriptive. I remember being quite scared of them as a child. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one. Is it better than the first one? The first one is very iconic. So I'm gonna head and maybe high B? No, I'm gonna put it bottom of A. Uh, the Giraffe, the Pelly, and me. This bad boy here. Now, these, these, this one, the Magic Finger, and Easy O Trot are the three that I remember reading in, like, one night. Because they're only, like, 50 pages long each. 
I remember liking certain elements of this one uh, better than the other two, so I'm gonna probably put it, yeah, top of C, that seems about right. Now, we're getting to some of the heavy hitters. The twits, the twits. This one is the one in my family that I think has been, maybe this one in Matilda that has been read the most. And I, it's, um, and that, that puts it at a special place in my heart. So I think I'm going to put this, I don't want to put it on top of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So maybe there. Uh, yeah, I think that's accurate. Okay, now, Danny the Champion of the World. This one is not... I wouldn't say that it is well uh, well known. I would say this is also one of the forgotten ones. This is the one that I also read the most. You can see, I think this one has the most spine damage on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it top of B tier. That seems unfair when James and the Giant Peach is up there. So, um... Actually, A tier. I'm gonna move James and the Giant Peach down. Yeah. Did I like Boy more than Danny and the Champion of the World? I think I'm gonna do that because I, as I said, I keep coming back to the, um, the autobiographies. Not so much Danny. Okay, now we have the three, possibly three of the biggest heavy hitters uh, in the set. Matilda, the Witches, and the BFG. Let's start off with BFG. Um, I'm gonna put this there for now. I'm probably gonna come back and rearrange it. And then we have Matilda. This is probably the most, along with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, probably the most popular, the most recent one because of the musical. Uh, so I'm gonna go and put that one top B no I'm gonna put it A I'm gonna put Danny Danny down with the BFG I hate to do it but I'm gonna put that there and then yeah which brings us to the last book on the list which is The Witches this is my favorite role girl book I just remember the hearing the description of the witches and um oh I was so scared uh, it's not going in there we go I'm not surprised that adaptations and movies of it keep getting made so I've done some uh, changing up and this is the order that I've decided on I'm surprised that I actually put Matilda higher than the BFG and Danny and I am also surprised that Charlie the Chocolate Factory made it high up on this list but I guess then there's a, there's definitely a reason that it's the most popular it's still talked about today Roald Dahl books after the over 50 years thank you for watching the video so much I hope this brought back some good memories of books from your childhood let me know what you thought of my tier list down in the comment section down below thanks for watching bye